Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our daily video golf blog. Thanks very much for watching. Today is Saturday, the 25th of August, 2018, and on Saturdays, we do short game Saturdays. And today, I want to talk about something that is aimed more this time at the higher golfers. Uh, on Thursday, I aimed it more for the lower handicap. Now I'm aiming it more for the higher handicap. So I take all of you into account. So this is what we call the Texas wedge. When you're putting from off the green, and when you have a situation like I'm in now, where I'm putting through quite a lot of fringe, the flag is close and it's a bit downhill. So it would be a very delicate chip. So this is the shot for those of you that are not very good putters. I apologize, not very good chippers. And uh, you want to get nervous on these very delicate little shots and you either chunk it and leave it here or skull it you know, over the green. So your putter is a very, very safe club just to hit along the ground. But how hard do you hit these when you're going through this longer grass? So the formula I've always used is whatever distance I've got here. So I've got one, two, three, four paces between my ball and the edge of the green. So what I do is I add four paces onto the length of the putt. So what I do from the hole is I go one, two, three, four. So over here, this is when I do my practice swing, this is where I'm trying to get the ball to finish. So I'm hitting this now as hard as about a 25 foot putt, even though I might only have, you know, a, sh a shorter distance. So when I do my practice swing to decide over here how hard to hit it, I'm not looking at the hole. I'm actually now looking this distance, four paces, 12 feet. I'm looking 12 feet past the hole. So I get into my normal putting stance, look at a spot about 12 feet past the hole and do my practice swing. That's about how hard I want to hit it. Now, when I go to the ball, I make my normal stroke and I nearly hold it, but that ball went about the right distance past the hole. So this is the right pace to hit the ball is take this distance from the ball to the edge of the green, add it. So if I was back there, I'd have to add a bit more. If I was more forward, I'd have to add a little bit less. But for those of you that are not very good, the Texas wedge is the answer to all your problems around the green. Thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and please give this video a thumbs up.